Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss another game problem by linear programming method. And we are given with 4 into 4 payoff matrix. Friends, I had provided link in the description in which you will find all the videos related to this topic in both English as well as in Hindi. Now let us start with the first step. Here the first step is find out the saddle point if any in the payoff matrix. Okay. First of all, we will find out the saddle point if any. Now here I have written the payoff matrix and then I will write row minimum. Okay. Now I have to choose the minimum value among these values. Here the minimum value in the first row is 0. So I will write 0. In the second row, the minimum value is 2. Okay. In the third row, the minimum value is 0. So I will write 0. In fourth row, the minimum value is 0. So 0. After that, I have to write column maximum. Here, the maximum value in the first column is 4. So I will write 4. Then the maximum value in the second column is 4. So I will write 4. In the third column, maximum value is 4. And in the last column, the maximum value is 8. So I will write 8 here. After that, I have to choose the maximum value in the row minimum. In row minimum, the maximum value is 2. So I will close the 2. This value is called maximum value. Okay. Max maximum value because this is the maximum among the minimums. Okay. And after that, I will choose the minimum value in the column maximum. Here, the minimum value is 4. Okay. So I can underline any of the 4. So I will encircle this 4. And this is called minimax. Okay. Minimax. Now here, the maximum and minimax values are different. So this game does not have saddle point. Okay. So we will proceed to the step number two. So I had written here, the given payoff matrix does not have a saddle point. Okay. The value of game lies between two and four. As we know that the value of games lie between maximum and minimax point. Here the maximum point is two and minimax point is four. So the value of games lie between two and four. That is V lies between two and four. Hence, we cannot write the inequality, sorry, hence we can write the inequalities directly without adding any positive number to the matrix. Now, as the value of gam lie between 2 and 4, it means that always the value of gam will be positive. There is no chance of V to be negative or 0. Okay, so here there is no need of adding any constant to the payoff matrix. Now, in the previous video, the value of games lies between minus 2 and 3. So it was possible that the value of game may be 0 or negative. Okay. So in the previous video, there was need of adding a constant to the payoff matrix in order to make the value of game positive. Okay. But here, there is no possibility, there is no chance that V will be negative or 0 because V lies between 2 and 4 and 0 and negative does not come between 2 and 4. Okay. Hence, there is no need of adding any positive constant to the given payoff matrix. Okay. So directly, we will proceed to the step number 3. So here, in the step number 3, let PI, I is 1, 2, 3, 4 and QJ, that is 1, 2, 3, 4 be the probabilities of selecting strategies AI and BJ where I and J are 1, 2, 3, 4 by player A and player B respectively. Here I had written probability P1, P2, P3, P4. These are the probabilities for selecting the strategies A1, A2, A3, A4 for player A and probability Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. For selecting the strategy B1, B2, B3, B4 for player B. Okay. 
Now after that, the expected loss for player B will be as follow. Now as we know that the objective of player A is to maximize his gain and the objective of player B is to minimize his loss. Okay. So from player B's point of view, the expected loss for player B will be 3 into Q1 plus 2 into Q2 okay, plus 4 into Q3 plus 0 into Q4 less than or equal to V. Why we had written less than or equal to V? Because the main objective of player B is to maximize his value of game or uh, sorry minimize to minimize his value of game or minimize his expected loss. So we had written less than or equal to V and this comes when player A uses his strategy A1 okay in the same way when player A uses his strategy A2 the expected loss for player B will be 3 into Q1 okay plus 4 into Q2 plus 2 into Q3 plus 4 into Q4 okay less than or equal to V similarly we will do for these two also okay I had written here and then Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 plus Q4 is equal to 1. As we know that the sum of probabilities is equal to 1 and we know that the probabilities are always greater than or equal to 0. Probabilities can never be negative. So I had written here Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 all greater than or equal to 0. Okay. Now let us proceed to the step number 4. In step number 4, we divide each inequality and equality. Here we are given with three, sorry, four inequalities and one equality. We will divide these inequalities and this equality by V. So we get when dividing the first inequality by V, I will get 3Q1 by V. So I have written here then plus 2Q2 by V. Okay. Plus 4Q3 by V plus 0Q4 by V less than or equal to v by v and it will reduces to 1 okay after that in the second constraint second inequality 3 q1 q1 by v plus 4 q2 by v plus 2 q3 by v okay plus 4 q4 by v less than or equal to 1 because v by v reduces to 1 okay similarly for third for third inequality and for fourth inequality these will the uh, third and fourth inequality will reduce to these inequalities okay and the equality will reduce to q1 by v plus q2 by v plus q3 by v plus q4 by v is equal to 1 by v okay so after that for the sake of simplicity in order to simplify we define new variables let y1 is equal to q1 by v y2 is equal to q2 by v, y3 is equal to q3 by v and y4 is equal to q4 by v. Okay. Now the problem for player b therefore becomes as we know that the objective of b is to minimize his value. Okay. That is to minimize the value of game or to minimize his expected loss. So b will always try to minimize v. So he has to maximize 1 upon v as we know that the reciprocal of v is 1 by v and minimize will be converted to maximize. Therefore, we can write maximize zq which is equal to 1 by v. Okay, which is equal to as we know that 1 by v is equal to this here q1 is equal to y1 q2 is equal to q2 by v is equal to y2 and then q3 by v is equal to y3 and y4. Okay, and the constants will become here. 3 q1 by v is equal to y1 so 3 y1 plus 2 q2 by v is equal to y2 so 2 y2 plus 4 y3 by v okay q3 by v is equal to y3 so y3 okay less than or equal to 0 here it is 0 q4 by v so I will not write this similarly the second will become 3 y1 plus 4 y2 plus 2 y3 plus 4 y4 less than or equal to v similarly these two constant i will write here okay and then y1 y2 y3 y4 all are greater than or equal to 0 okay now after that 
proceeding to the step number five using simplex method okay now in simplex method first of all we introduce slake variable to convert the given linear programming model into its standard form okay now we are going to add the slake variable here there are four constant so i will add four slake variable s1 s2 s3 and s4 okay so i had added s1 to the first constant s2 to the second constant s3 to the fourth uh, third constant and s4 to the fourth constant and these inequalities will be converted into equality by adding this lake variables okay and here all the variables are greater than or equal to zero okay this is the standard form of the linear programming model okay now after that from the given linear program uh, sorry from the given linear programming model we will obtain the initial basic feasible solution okay so here in the first table the initial feasible solution is given now first of all i had written cj and cj are the coefficient of variables in the objective function here the coefficient of y1 y2 y3 y4 are 1 1 1 1 so i had written here 1 1 1 okay and the coefficient of s1 s2 s3 s4 are 0 so i will write here 0 okay friends i had provided link in the description in which you will find out the detailed lecture on simplex table okay I will not explain here the detail uh, simplex method. So after that solution values. Now the solution values are the values to the right hand side of the equality equation. So 1, 1, 1 and 1. So I had written here 1, 1, 1 and 1. And the variable in the basis. Variable in the basis are the slick variable. Here the slick variable as S1, S2, S3 and S4. And CB are the coefficient of the basis. That is coefficient of S1, 0 coefficient of s2 0 coefficient of s3 and coefficient of s4 okay after that i have to fill out the table now here these are the values in the cons in the constant here coefficient of y1 coefficient of y2 coefficient of y3 coefficient of y4 and s1 s2 s3 s4 coefficient of y1 is 3 coefficient of y2 is 2 coefficient of y3 is 4 okay similarly coefficient of y4 is 0 and coefficient of s1 is 1 and s2 s3 s4 are not available in the first constant so the coefficient here is 0 so i had written here 0 similarly in the second constant the coefficient of y1 is 3 so i had written here 3 coefficient of y2 is 4 so i had written here 4 coefficient of y3 is 2 okay then coefficient of y4 is 4 okay coefficient of s1 is not available s2 okay 1 and s3 s4 are not available okay similarly for third constant and fourth constant i had written here third and fourth constant okay now the given problem is of maximization and in maximization the given solution is optimal if cj minus zj is either zero or less than zero but here cj minus zj is zero or greater than zero so the current solution is feasible but not optimal why it is feasible because all solution values are positive so the current solution is feasible but not optimal so in order to obtain the optimal solution we will choose a key column and a key row here the key row i had chosen is fourth row fourth column because i have to choose the maximum among these values here all the values all the positive values are equal so i can choose randomly any column so i had chosen fourth column okay then i will find the minimum ratio here the minimum ratio will be the key column okay the solution values divided by key column so one divided by zero it will become infinite then one divided by four one by four one divided by zero infinite and one divided by eight okay then the minimum value among these three values is one by eight so this row will be the key row okay that is y4 will enter into the basis of x s4 okay that is in place of s4 i can write y4 so here in the next table i had written y4 in place of s4 and here the coefficient of y4 is 1 so i had written here 1 and s3 s2 and s1 the coefficient are 0 0 and 0 okay after that here the 8 is the intersection of key row and key column so this is the key element now 
I have to reduce this 8 to 1, then 0 to 0, and 4 to 0, and then 0 to 0. Okay. Now, in order to reduce 8 to 0, I will divide 8 by 8. So, I will divide whole row by 8. Okay. Now, while dividing whole row by 8, I will get 1 by 8, then 0, then 4 divided by 8, 1 by 2, then 8 divided by, uh, sorry, 0 divided by 8, 8 divided by 8, 1, then 0, 0, 0, okay, then 8 divided by 8, okay. After that, I have to reduce 0 to 0, here it is already, here it has already 0, so there is no change in the second row, I had directly written here. After that, I have to reduce 4 to the 0, so in order to reduce 4 to the 0, I will multiply this row, that is new row, by 4, okay, when I will multiply this row by 4, then I subtract this row from the first row. I will get 4 minus 4, that is 0. Then 2 minus 4 into 0, I will get 0. So 2 minus 0, I will get 2. Okay. Similarly, you can do for this and all other things. Okay. Similarly, here I have to reduce to the 0. Here it is already 0. So first row, there will be no change. So I had directly written here. After that, I will find out Cj minus Zj. Now here, Cj minus Zj are still greater than 0 because these three values are greater than 0. It means that the solution is not optimal. Okay. So I will enter the maximum value. That is the maximum value I will choose to enter. That is I had chosen third column as a key column because 1 and 1 are equal. I can choose any column. So I had chosen and then I will find out the minimum ratio. Here the minimum ratio will be yb divided that is solution value divided by y3 okay that is 1 by 4 then 1 upon 2 by 2 okay so i will get here 1 by 4 and then 1 by 4 okay and here 1 sorry here it is 1 by 8 divided by 0 it will become not defined okay now here the minimum values among this value is 1 by 4. So I can choose any of the 1 by 4. So I had chosen third 1 by 4. Okay. So third row will be the key row. Okay. That is y3 will be placed in place of s3. That is s3 is replaced from the variable in the basis and y3 will come in place of s3. Okay. So I had constructed new table here in place of s3. I had written y3. Okay. And all other variables are same. Now, coefficient of y3 is 1, y4 is 1, and x2 is 0, y, uh, s1 is 0, okay? Then, as in the above table, I will simplify this table, okay? Now, here, the current solution is optimal, as cj minus zj are either 0 or less than 0, okay? So, the current solution is optimal. So, from here, now y1, y2 are not available in the basis, so y1 and y2 is 0, now y3 is 1 by 4, so y3 is 1 by 4 and y4 is 1 by 8, so 1 by 8, okay. And zq, that is 1 by v, zq is 1 by v, which is equal to y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4, so y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4, okay. So I will get 3 by 8. Now 1 by v is 3 by 8, so v is equal to 8 by 3, okay. After that, these solution values are now converted back into the original variables. As I had assumed, one, uh, y1 is equal to q1 by v, so implies q1 is equal to y1 into v, okay, because q1 is the original variable, okay. So, q1 is equal to, now y1 is equal to 0, here y1 is 0, so q1 will be 0. Similarly, y2 is equal to q2 by v implies q2 is equal to y2 into v okay implies q2 is equal to this 0 into 8 by 3 here the value of v is 8 by 3 okay so 0 then y3 which is equal to q3 by v implies q3 is equal to y3 into v okay so implies q3 is equal to now y3 is 1 by 4 so i will write 1 by 4 into v is 8 by 3 so 8 by 3 is equal to 2 by 3 okay Similarly, y4 is equal to q by q4 by v, which is equal to q4 is equal to v into y4 implies q4 is equal to now y4 
is 1 by 8. So 1 by 8 into 8 by 3, which is equal to 1 by 3. Okay. Now after that, the optimal strategy for player A are obtained from the CJ minus ZJ row of lost table. Now here, I will write the value of X corresponding to the slake variable. Okay. That is corresponding to slake variable S1, the value of CJ minus ZJ, which is 0. Then corresponding to S2, I will write X2, 0. Then X3, sorry, S3, minus 1 by 4. And I will neglect the negative value. I will write only 1 by 4. And similarly, S4, 1 by 8. That is X4 is equal to 1 by 8, neglecting the negative value. Okay. So I will write here x10 x20 x3 1 by 4 and x4 1 by 8 okay as i had done y1 is equal to q1 by v similarly i will write x1 is equal to p1 by v implies p1 is equal to x1 into v implies p1 is equal to now x1 is equal to 0 so 0 into now v is 8 by 3 so 0 similarly p2 okay p2 will be 0 similarly p3 okay it will be 2 by 3 putting the value of x3 here x3 is 1 by 4 okay then p4 okay hence the optimal strategies for player a will be 0 0 2 by 3 1 by 3 okay and optimal strategies for player b will be the value of q1 q2 q3 q4 that is 0 0 2 by 3 1 by 3 okay this one and the value of game is 8 by 3 here there is no need to subtract anything from value of game because I had not added any constant to the payoff matrix. So here there will be no change in the value of game. So value of game is 8 by 3. So this is the required method for solving the game problem. So friends if you like my video please subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.